All right, let's talk quickly about some differences between uh, Scrum and Kanban. Um, and let's go through the stages. Um, what about release planning? So we're going to figure out this big notion of what um, we do. And remember for us, this is we do things like the user story maps and stuff like that. Well, there's no change from Scrum. We do the same things for uh, Kanban. Again, this high level planning that all projects need. Um, well, what about sprint planning? Well, there are no sprints. So there's no more sprint planning. We don't need to do that work, which is, that's actually, a, that's a relief, isn't it? That saves us some time. Um, all we do now is we just pull from the backlog when it's appropriate and we can do it with the work in progress limits we'll pull don't need to plan the sprint because there's no sprint to plan anymore um, that saves time um, and probably for it saves time over something that's not that fun and you know, you go, oh, wait a minute. One of the things I do in sprint planning is I figure out how we're gonna actually break these stories up into tasks. Well, again, that work is pushed into the specify workflow. Um, so it's handled as part of our workflow rather than um, all just done in one big meeting, which is nice because it's gotten rid of that sort of waterfall-y like thing of we're gonna do all this specification and planning up front. No, all we do is we still got release planning, but we don't sprint. We don't plan out tiny little waterfalls. Um, what about daily standup? Yes. Um, again, so this is all about doing pulls and we identify uh, blockages. And again, yeah, we got We have to update what's done first before we can do the pulls. Anyways, so we identify our blockages. Um, you know, these are really the only people who talk. So when we've got a problem and we can see from the Kanban board that thing, stuff's not flowing through it, what's going on, team? Let's talk about this. What's, why is the work stuck there? All right. Um, so we talk about problems. We don't just give status updates for things. Um, great thing about this is this lets us, as I mentioned before, handle a large team actually very nicely. Um, what about the great sprint review with the customer? Have we thrown that out? The answer is, you know, you are either doing continuous delivery to the customer So imagine you are, you're like, you're, you're running the Xbox uh, system platform and you're constantly pumping out new content. That's to the customer. You're delivering it all the time. Um, you're running a website, you're delivering Facebook. You just, that's the customer. You're sending it out to the customer. What does the customer, you know, do? If you uh, have more like a traditional client and their corporation and stuff, yes, what you do is schedule your sprint reviews, which are no longer called sprint reviews, they're just called reviews uh, as desired. You know, you might very well say, you know, as a team, you say you're transitioning from Scrum to Kanban, you say, we really like being able to meet with the client every two weeks and go over the what has been done and, you know, has been delivered. Just keep doing that. Keep having reviews on a bi-weekly basis. But this is an example of where Kanban requires more maturity. There's no rule that says at the end of your sprint, you must review your work with the client. It says, aren't you a professional? Don't you know that you should be frequently getting feedback from the customer? Kanban, unlike Waterfall, is very happy to have feedback from the customer because Customer says, ooh, I want to change the priority of the stuff in the backlog. Totally fine. No problem at all. Waterfall, ooh, no. So waterfall, you might be like, I don't want to talk to the customer. They're going to ask for changes. 
Here, it's fine to talk to the customer. So you can still have frequent interaction with the customer. Um, you can have it at, you can have it more frequent than uh, sprints and scrums. You know, you can be more XP. You could have the customer sit with you. So it's a it's a more flexible system, but it, it does require the maturity to say, yeah, obviously we need to go talk to the customer. What about the sprint retrospective? Um, yep, it's gone too. Um, now in the the Kanban project management book, he talks about that. Well, we don't need this because we we have the flow issues are fixed daily. So whenever we have a problem with our process, we work on it. You know, so if things are flowing, there's nothing to talk about. There's no reason to hold a retrospective. When we realize that basically our assembly line, our workflow has a problem at our daily standup because there's a blockage, then we talk about it and we figure things out as a team and we fix what's going on. I think you're probably well aware that the retrospectives have value beyond just work blockages. They have value in how the team is interacting and working with each other. Um, so I would say, really the truth is, yeah, these sort of key process problems are highlighted and the team is turns the stand up, um, yep, we're going to take that offline and we're going to go work and fix those things. Great. That's perfect. With the other stuff that goes on on teams and other things that we should talk about, like improving our done criteria and stuff like that, you still need to have some sort of forum for talking about that. And I think that's where, that's a downside to Kanban is that you need to have the maturity as a team to say, we know that just like talking to the customer, this is value, talking to ourselves is valuable. And we're going to schedule occasionally some meetings for this. Um, and maybe you, again, you do them bi-weekly, maybe monthly, maybe weekly, whatever. But you actually say we're going to do it. And that takes the maturity to know that this is an important thing to inspect and adapt how we work as a team and talk about some of these things. Um, rather than uh, it's just all in stand-up and we don't worry about it. That, that sort of smells to me like a step back regression now now for process i agree absolutely you'll identify the problems even faster and work to fix them even sooner when kanban that's good the other problems on a team a lot of the uh and talking about your done criteria and stuff that's probably um a little bit more important but then again maybe maybe so a lot of that stuff is captured um, yeah, things are getting stuck over in validate because the implement team doesn't have good enough done criteria. All right, let's change that done criteria. Let's see if we can fix that flow problem. Um, those are the key differences. Uh, big thing is sprints are gone. Continuous flow. Um, but a lot of the other stuff, a lot of all the XP practices like pair programming still can be done. Um, we're still going to have all sorts of testing. Um, we're going to have code reviews. All There's a lot there that's the same. We're still going to use stories, then we're going to specify them, turn them into tasks. That's all the same. Okay. Very good.